Hello everybody. We will uh, look at the concept of inheritance in C++. So C++ or any any object oriented language OP it gives us this facility to inherit inherit the classes which are already written. So the idea of uh, inheritance is if we want to extend a class, a class is basically a description of an entity and if we want to extend this description by some small uh, small uh, some delta change then this inheritance function can come into handy can come in handy also a uh, typical use case of inheritance is where we have an abstract entity and then from that uh, we want to derive some very specific uh, entity classes so in that case the inheritance can come into uh, uh, play so for example a human being or an animal can be a base class so but the inherited class can be a very specific animal like a lion or a tiger or a human being and so on and so forth so in this case we look at a let's look at an example to understand this better so let's consider a shape as an entity which we want to describe and we assume right now that uh, two numbers call as width and height in this case are enough to describe this entity in its uh, entirety so we have the shape and uh, height which describe this base class and from this we would want to see how we want to describe specific shapes like square rectangle circle circle requires just one but uh, still in that case the width and height one number would be enough for it so we have this base class called shape it has two variables described uh, written here width and height and we have public functions declared here of get width and set height also we have declared two important functions here which is area and circumference get area get circumference so this two functions describe something more about the entity they describe what is the area of this shape and what is the circumference of this shape now as we can as we obviously know that this area and circumference we can only be told when we get into the specific shape we understand the specific shape that this class is describing so that c++ allows us to do this in this case when we have declared this get area and get circumference function we can it, it is a very abstract definition and can be written as uh, it can be left blank or some very basic normal information can be filled here and only when we write a specific uh, inherited class we can actually write the appropriate formula there and we'll see how this is useful so let's look at this derived class shape so the derived class gets uh, inherited from this class shape and in this case we know that the width and height are necessary so which is there declared in this shape so we don't need to do any more uh, changes to that or we don't need to add any more information to that we already have the set function and the get function for the width and height to set this values set functions for the width and height only we need to modify the get area and the get circumference so that behaves like a rectangle appropriately so the get area function we overwrite with width into height and the get circumference we overwrite with 2 plus width and height similarly if we want to create a class called triangle we inherit from the shape so once we inherit from the shape of course there are two numbers the width and height uh, so this is an isosceles triangle so we inherit uh, from the shape so you get this width and height uh, but only we need to modify the get area function and the get circumference function <coughs> so that it actually returns the triangle area and the triangle circumference we have also extended this uh, to be used as a circle class uh, but in this case we need to take care that the width and height are same
so we have the shape s a rectangle a triangle we are setting the width of the rectangle as 2 and height as 2 the triangle's width and height as 2 and 2 and the shapes height and width is 1 and 1 when we call the shapes area we will see the expectation is that the get area function of the shape should be called and the get circumference of the shape should be called appropriately the get circumference and the get area of the rectangle should be called and the get circumference and the get area of the triangle should be called and it should do the appropriate calculation and give us the correct area and circumference let us run this program and see so as we can see that the get area from the shape was called and it says it's minus one because the shape is undefined similarly for circumference or rectangle it gives us the correct uh, correct area of two for uh, circumference of four and area of circumference of eight and area of four Similarly for the triangle. So to summarize, the idea is that when we have an abstract description of the base class, it can be inherited into specific descriptions for the specific entities we have in mind. And also, uh, when there are incremental changes between the derived class, derived entity and the original entity, concept of inheritance comes very much handy.